Yesterday, Spencer Linton talked with Dax in an all-access interview via Zoom on the Deseret First Credit Union hotline. Dax, I know there are bigger storylines at play today for BYU football as a whole, but you were just named as one of 11 semifinalists for the Bolitnikoff Award given to the nation's top receiver. What was your reaction to hearing that news? Yeah, I didn't find out too long ago. It was literally just like 30 minutes ago, and um, it's it's very cool to be a part of, of that and all the other names that are great players, and I just I honestly wouldn't be here without, you know, Zach and, and – and uh, the old line blocking and just everyone doing their job. So it's, it's, uh, it's an honor. Congratulations on that and for crossing the 1,000-yard receiving uh, mark at Coastal Carolina. Clearly, uh, as has been stated by you and several of your other teammates, you wanted the win more than any of the other individual award. Uh, what are your emotions like now a few days after the fact that you've uh, been able to settle in on that five-point loss? Uh, yeah. I had a couple of days to um, think things over in my head. Um, still hurts. Um, it's not as bad. Uh, now it's just kind of more of a mood of what can we do to get better? What can we fix? Um, and just kind of, kind of move on from it. It's interesting because you as a player and BYU as a team haven't had to process a loss in almost a full year. So what's the most effective way to overcome the natural disappointment that follows after a loss? Um, yeah, it has been a while. Uh, just from my experience, I think it's it's good to let it let it sting for a sec. Um, kind of kind of can be an, a motivating factor for for guys especially me I just I like to let it sit and and bother me and um think about what, what I can do better like I said and and um and then now come back the next week is just kind of when you start to let it go and then move on let's walk through that final play from your point of view and shades of Kevin Dyson in uh, the Super Bowl in 2000 come back to mind, I'm sure, uh, much to the chagrin of, of what you're dealing with mentally. But what was the plan, and what was your point of view on that final play? Uh, well, the plan, um, we ran. We had ran the same play, the previous play, to get us to where we were, and, and we wanted to run the same play just on the other side of the field. And... Um, Hindsight, I should have um, gotten myself, you know, past the end zone line and then cut across the middle. Um, but everything was just kind of rushed because of, you know, the situation. Um, there was just guys lined up across the end zone, and I also had a man on me. And so I just kind of broke like a yard short and then just – uh, ended up happening where I couldn't I couldn't get in. I thought I was gonna be able to catch and and just knife right in between the safeties and but they were there and ready for it and so it it is what it is. It's easy to point to the final play and say, oh, I should have done this or we could have done this, but the BYU offense scores three points in the second half, and I know that you and Zach and company all feel like you could have done more, but now that you've looked at the film, what, what do you feel like you could have done better in the second half to score more than just three points? Uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what, what we could have done or what it, the problem was. Um, I, I just say we couldn't, I mean, it was obvious, but we couldn't find a, our flow that we usually have and, and, and what we've seen in, in previous games that we've played. Um, um, it, it was frustrating as a player to be a part of um, critical mistakes that were made. Uh, it's just, I think it just as a whole coaches and players could just could have done one more thing better. And maybe would have, we would have came out with the win. The BYU coaching staff and you and your teammates have made it very clear. No excuses. Coastal Carolina won the game. BYU lost. 
That said, much has been given to the idea that maybe BYU wasn't where they were supposed to be because of the accelerated timeline. You travel the day before a game, you only know two days. Coastal Carolina runs a, an interesting offense. They threw some weird defensive schemes at you. How much are you buying into BYU lost the game because they didn't have enough time to prepare? Yeah, uh, I'm not one to usually make excuses like that. Um, you know, maybe – Maybe the the defense needed more time for the to prepare for the, the triple option, but honestly, like you said, it's just Coast Carolina made more plays than us. Um, they were they were more prepared and 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 wanted to win just as much as we did. So it's I don't think we can make excuses. They just they beat us. That's it. Well. Fittingly, uh, the revenge tour against San Diego State returns after a tough loss in San Diego last year. So not only do you try and bounce back and get the tough taste of a loss out of your mouth, you get to do so with an opportunity against San Diego State. So what type of BYU team do you expect to show up on Saturday night? Uh, yeah, I think y'all see uh, a team that's just really got a chip on their shoulder just because of what just barely happened and as well as uh, last year when we played San Diego State, it'll – um, I think everyone will come out a little fired up, um, excited to get back on the field for sure. You know, every game's a blessing. We, um, it's never been like this. We're, we're just so excited just to have a game, period, and then especially just with the circumstances that I just said. Um, we'll be ready to go. Dax, if not a New Year's Six Bowl game, what's your next choice in terms of a potential bowl opponent for something that would uh, really get the juices flowing? Um. Yeah, any. Uh, I'd really just want to play a P5 team. There's just a lot of talk out there, us not playing a Power 5 team. I just, I'd love to play one of them, whoever it is. Hey, well said, my friend, and congratulations again on uh, the individual accomplishments. We're looking forward to watching you play uh, at least a couple of more games this year. And you know, you're my guy, always, win or lose. My man, my man, yeah. Appreciate you, man. <laughs>